these don't open. Have I had this one? Level 3 sec security? No. Is the note in here? I swear these these wave patterns are the same every time, aren't they? Sweet. No, they're not. They're different every time, but they look kind of the same every time. There's always a lot of sevens. Alright, more of this. Oh no. And this gap is tiny. Alright. Ah! Oh, they're going the same way. Why are they going the same way? They never go the same way. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Alright. This is even more complicated. Even more complicated than before. I can do that, do that. Get across, get across. Alright, those two go in the same direction. Ah, oh, no. No, come on. They're all at different speeds, in all, all at different directions. No, I, did, I, I pressed once, why did you jump twice? Who finds this fun? Somebody on the programming team must find this entertaining. Oh no, come on. Okay, so we wanna get across and then like I Okay. Let's get across. We can always go back. We don't have to always go forward. I didn't I didn't hold down, why? It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Alright, we're here. And we need to... Get across... Are you kidding me? Who finds this fun though? Somebody on the design team finds this entertaining. Oh no, he can't go back. Alright, alright, we're here. Oh, terrible. It takes time for the dot to move across. And you have to factor that into the timing. Nope. What? Nope. I hate this. I despise this. What?
Oh, come on. That's, did that make sense to you? Were you guys paying attention? Did that even happen? Did, is that even happening? What? I'm hitting that gap. Uh, no, too slow, too slow. I was I was going with a big gap. Um, hmm. what the? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. No, no way. No. This is so who so bad. The, like the dot is huge and slow and the gaps are tiny the, why is the dot so big All right, we can we can we can jump across like that. All right, done. Uh, I'm not okay. Well, we we we've done it. We did it. <laughs> Great minds in history. Hey, Kenway. Suave, debonair, and clever, Haytham Kenway was a hero for a generation of men desperate for a decisive and charismatic leader. Slain by the ungrateful son who could not appreciate the wisdom of his, param of his pragmatic, race-blind approach to politics and personal life, Kenway's tenure as Grand Master of the Colonial Right ended abruptly in 1781. <laughs> I mean, it, Haytham. I mean, I don't know if it was entirely Haytham's fault. I don't know if he was lying or if he really didn't know what what a bastard Charles Lee was, because Charles Lee was a douchebag. And I don't know if he really didn't know or if he just pretended not to know, when in fact condoning the actions of Charles Lee. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, so I think we've hacked everything there is for us to hack. But there's still one more note and two more computers, unless I've missed them somehow. The notes are not on the map, but the computers are. So if there's two more computers to hack, they should show up on the maps. And there aren't, just yet. So I guess we're going back into the Animus? But I thought we were done in there. We've restored the observatory. What else is there to do? Except except ending cinematics. There's no there's no credits yet. Don't tell me the story is gonna drag on. Oh no, there's still the oh no we, we killed the grandmaster. You're responsible for other people's incompetence. What else is there to do? I don't know. Rank seven sixty seven in prosperity of pirates. I can't believe my rank is so high. Apparently nobody plays this game this much. And the game still goes on. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben La'ahad once counseled. 
Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Rogers is still alive? Evening, Anne. Edward? Rogers. I'm sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. And my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Ah, uh, no. I'm a murderer. I kill people for their loot. I'm a pirate. Of all the money that I have, I spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I've done. Alas, it was to none for me. And all I've done for want of wit to memory now I can't recall. So Parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Who is that? Is that my daughter? The daughter we've never seen before? That is so forced. They forced a happy ending in there. No, that makes no, no way, no. You're taking your daughter to pirate? Are we gonna board a man of war with her on board? But since it falls unto my lot that I should rise and you I'll gently rise and softly call. Clue up! Good night Clue and up. joy be with you. Mains out! Let's go! Are. I'm sailing. Good I'm controlling. Good night and joy be with you. No, this, no, you can't do this. You're an assassin and a pirate. You can't have family. Because people die around you. Father, did you always know how to sail a boat? The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. It's a big but boat. did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lark. To support us. And take care of her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I don't know. I might have come home. 
I hope that I would have. No, you wouldn't. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but that wouldn't have mattered. You were being chased by people who wanted to boat? kill you. Yes. Boat. I see no boat here. Do you? That is dear. Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship, large and small, but for my toy boats, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Can we let her on the wheel? Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? Everywhere. No. Not much chance of that, I think. There's pirates all oh, around us. That's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick of the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> you look a whale. You weren't looking, though. Psych. This is Assassin's Creed 3. Why are we coming here? Oh man, if that's that ending. Are you serious? <clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I, uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. It's not worth seeing. Up we go. How's that? Fine, but won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Yeah. Rich white people. Shoulda stayed a pirate. Shoulda stayed a pirate. I I mean oh come on, come on you're a you're a pirate and an assassin. Ah uh, whatever whatever it's it's a story. Take it I don't care. Should we watch the credits? The credits are gonna be long. A lot of people work in this game. I know that. Actually we're already down to multiplayer. We've already gone past most of the credits I think. No, it doesn't. Look, you can't. You, you, how do you how do you redeem yourself? I know the story. I know how they wrote the story. How how many people did we kill playing that game? Thousands, thousands. And then you just you just kind of wipe your hands and that's it. You're a loving father. No. 
it's not it's not how things work with real people. I mean, it's a story. It's fiction. It's how things work with fictional people. But you know, let's let's not dwell on that too much. The game is great. This game is great. It's a great game. It's a really good game. Maybe, you know, in contrast to Assassin's Creed 3, I'm, I'm more enthusiastic than I should be. Like, if I compared it with Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood and Revelations, then it's it's a, it's about the same. <laughs> I mean, if, if we kind of just ignore 3, then uh, it, it's Assassin's Creed. It's about the same as all the others. If we count Assassin's Creed 3, then this is a, a great game. <laughs> It's uh, it's worth playing. Well, actually, we're not done. I know these are the credits. We're not done. There's still a, a DLC, Freedom Cry. There's still a DLC. I'm still gonna go around collecting everything. Maybe I'll try to get 100% sync, 100% synchronization on this game, because I do quite enjoy pirating. It's gonna take a long time though. Like I've already spent a lot of time pirating in this game. And I might grab all the things, and then we'll. Do we do architecture first? Like, let's do let's do architecture first. There won't be very much. There's like a few buildings. There'll be like forts and cathedrals. Not that much. Although I guess we should go look up the history of Havana and Kingston and uh, Nassau. So we'll do that. We'll do some history reading and architecture reading maybe. And then we'll do Freedom Cry. And that'll be it. That'll be it. I don't plan to do... Assassin's Creed Rogue and Assassin's Creed Unity after this. Unless they put it on sale, like like you know, 70% off sale tomorrow, then then I'll buy it and play it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, I'll think about it. No, I probably won't. I won't do it immediately. I'll probably do it in some point at some point in the future. Well, I'm glad they managed to make Assassin's Creed 4 this good. I mean, of course, they were always capable of it, if you kind of just look at the track record. And I think it's every time they, they make a new game engine, they don't allocate enough resources to also make a good game. Assassin's Creed 1 wasn't that good, Assassin's Creed 3 wasn't that good, and as we know, Assassin's Creed Unity was a disaster at launch. It's because whenever they make a new game engine, they just don't have time to polish it for the game. You know, the game after the new game engine is great. Like Assassin's Creed 2 is great, but that uses the same engine as Assassin's Creed 1. I mean, it's not the same, it is improved. But they use pretty much the same engine as Assassin's Creed 1. And they just focused more time on making a better game. And likewise, Assassin's Creed 4 is a great game, but they're using the same engine pretty much as Assassin's Creed 3, like the ships and the combat animations and the parkour and all that stuff. Like all the, all the technology is from Assassin's Creed 3. They polished it, added a few more tricks to it, and then just focused most of the time on making a great game, and they made a great game. So I don't know. I, I, I understand they, they somehow need to find the funding to improve the game engine every now and then. You can't like you can't make games on a 10 year old engine, right? So, I mean, I understand the need to keep updating the engine, but the way they allocate resources really mean that every time they do that, every time they update the engine, they end up with a really mediocre game. And that's something they need to work on, I think. Maybe, maybe just dedicate more resources to it. And maybe just just plan it, like you know, you make just kind of you gotta make a plan. Yeah, like maybe you lose money on that game. Maybe you lose money on the game where it's a new engine, and you and you just just take that. But then you say, okay, we're gonna use this engine for three more games, and then you may maybe you make your money back on those, and then you have and then by that point you have to make a new engine again, and you say, okay, we're gonna spend double the manpower, and we know we're gonna lose money on this one because we have to develop new technology, but then four games after that, we're going to use the same technology. 
and we don't have to and we don't have to spend as much of our kind of development resources on that. Maybe they should just do that. Maybe they have, it's just something that they have to deal with. Because I don't think having the quality of the games fluctuate is a good idea. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. But the fact that you know Assassin's Creed Three is so disappointing when you put it next to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and and Assassin's Creed Four, it's it's a concern. It's a concern. I think it might turn people away from the franchise. You know what's a good example? I think. Well, I was gonna say the Elder Scrolls is a good example, except the Elder Scrolls Online is not that great. <laughs> but let, uh, if we ignore that, we only look at the single player versions. Like, you know, every time they make an Elder Scrolls game, they make a new engine. And then they make the game, and the game is always really good. And then they put out, like, two expansions usually. And they make money off that as well, and then they make the next engine and the next big game. So, Arena, Dagger 4, uh, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, they're all, like, each each time they go, each time they, they make the jump, the, the leap in technology is huge. Like, the, the improvement in the technology is huge. And the quality of the design is also excellent. You know, every time it's it it sets it sets a benchmark, and so Bethesda with their flagship Elder Scrolls series, they they do it, like they make new engines and make really good games, really well well designed, well balanced you know, games with good mechanics, and they can do it right. So some developers can do it. What's another good example? What's another series? Uh, Civilization is another is another good example because, well, I mean they they're getting a little bit sloppy, but with each Civilization game, they would release the game, and they release a couple of, of expansions, and the base game is usually not as good as the expansions after this because they like they would add more mechanics. I remember like for ex the latest example, uh, Civilization Five. There was Civilization V, and then there was the Gods and Kings uh, expansion, and then there was the Brave New World expansion. And the Brave New World version of it is great, like the, there's a lot of depth, and there's a lot of nuance, and there's a lot of interesting stuff in the game. Like it's a, it's a full Civilization game. But if you just look at Civilization V compared to Civilization IV with all their expansions, like people at the time looked at that and said, okay, Civilization V is, is a pretty good game. But everybody could see that it wasn't as deep. Like, it wasn't as complex. It wasn't as nuanced. Like, it was kind of like a, a really basic version of Civilization for some reason. But then, as they kind of add more expansions, they kind of fill in the game. So, what Civilization does is, again, like, they, they kind of make a new engine and they release a game. And that is a, it's a decent game. Not a great game, it's a decent game. And then they, then then they add expansions with new mechanics, and then they add another ex expansion with new mechanics. And by that point, it's a great game. So that's how they do it, and it works. It works. And I mean, I, I, I've, 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 I've bought all the Civilization games since Civilization Two, and I've played a lot of it, all of them. But again, it's it's the it's the idea that it's like you know every time you make a new engine, you have to do a lot of extra work. Whereas after you've made your engine and you make the expansion, it's just content. Well, I mean the, you you tweak the engine a little bit, of course, but mostly it's just content. And so then you can focus all your all your efforts on content and of course fixing unbalanced mechanics from the original game. So, but but you know you don't want to make a new engine every time because it's you put in so much resources on things that are not gameplay you put in so much resources on just tech that supports the gameplay and not actually making fun gameplay and you know fun hours of gameplay and that's not a good idea so you kind of have to manage the, the the engine and the gameplay in a way that allows you to make money and also have decent games 
and it really feels like Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed Unity are problems. Like, I, I have no doubt that the Assassin's Creed Unity, the, the engine, once they fix all the bugs, and once they go through the cycle of one game and get get player feedback to say what's good and not, what's not, I'm, I'm pretty sure the next game they make with that engine is going to be absolutely superb. The question is, can they survive that long? Because every time they make a bad game or they release a, 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 an unpolished game on a new engine, they hurt their reputation. You know what I mean? Like the Assassin's Creed, the reputation of the franchise is hurt severely every time they do this. Assassin's Creed 3 hurt them, Assassin's Creed Unity hurt them. And it's, it's not, again, it's not that they can't do it, it's not that they don't have the, the talent to do it, it's that they don't have the resources to make a new engine and also make a great game. And I think that, that that's more of a planning issue than a technical issue, right? It's not that you, you can't do it, it's that your, your deadlines and your budgets aren't arranged in a way to accommodate that extra bit of work you need to do to make a new engine. So I don't know. I don't know. The, the I'm, I'm just saying that you know other game series have figured it out. Bethesda has figured it out, and and you know Firaxis has figured it out with Civilization, and I'm sure there's other examples. I mean, even, even Fallout. Like Fallout 3, Bethesda, Bethesda acquired the Fallout license, they made Fallout 3 and then they made New Vegas on the same engine, right? And, and even the engine itself is a modified version of the Oblivion engine and I guess the Skyrim engine is a modified version of the of the Fallout engine as well. So they're not completely using making new tech, they're kind of improving on old tech, but they have to rewrite it because it's new technology anyway. So hey, what I'm trying to say is like, you, you make the engine, and then you make multiple games with that engine, because that's how you save money. <laughs> how else are you going to how else are you gonna afford to make all these games? And I wonder about that, too, because people were saying that Assassin's Creed Rogue was a really good game. And I'm, I'm, if I remember right, Assassin's Creed Rogue used the same engine as Assassin's Creed 3 and 4. And it's a decent engine. I mean, it's, it doesn't maybe it doesn't look as good as everything that's next gen, but you know, it's it's a it's a decent, reliable engine, well tested at this point, and um, I don't know, I don't know. Grand Theft Auto is another interesting example, or even that, Grand Theft Auto, like, Grand Theft Auto, f yeah, again, they, they would make a new engine, so Grand Theft Auto 3, 4, and 5 are new engines. Grand Theft Auto 3 also had um, San Andreas, and what's the other one? There's, there was like two other games using the same engine for Grand Theft Auto 3. Grand Theft Auto 4, there were two expansions. The Lost and the Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony. So again, it, it, this idea of have, making an engine, making a flagship game with it, and then making more things using the same engine. Maybe add-ons, maybe like separate games using the same engine, before you move on to making new another new engine. Yeah, same idea. Same idea. You know, Grand Theft Auto. Well, Grand Theft Auto Three. I'm not sure if that's that good, but Grand Theft Auto Four wasn't was was a good game, and Grand Theft Auto Five is also a good game. Like, you know, they don't sacrifice the quality of the game just because they have a new engine. But Assassin's Creed does. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Every time they put a new engine out, they sacrifice the quality of the gameplay to do it, which is just terrifying to me. If I were the the producer. I would be terrified by by the very idea. Maybe they'll fix it. Maybe eventually they'll figure it out. I don't know. I hope they do. So yeah, these um these these credits are really really long. I don't think I should ramble anymore. 
Should I cut it short? I should probably cut it short. Let me just cut this short because this is getting a bit long. But you can see how many people worked on this game. And you can see that in order to recuperate the money they spent making the game, they have to sell a lot of copies. And so the quality, the quality counts. Like if, if your quality is not dependable... Oh no, you can't skip it. Okay, S. So the game's over. I still need to find those missing computer hacking and notes from Aita. Wait a minute. What? There's new missions? Templar Hunt? Templar Hunt? Assassin's Contract? Templar Hunt? Naval Con- Wait a minute, what? There's more stuff? Multiplayer rewards, you finish the game, multiplayer rewards. Is there really more? Was that just a, just showing you where stuff are, or is that actually more Templar hunts? No, there isn't. Look, it's two out of two. No, they're finished. So that was just a map showing you where the side missions are. Even though I've done most of them, I've done all the Templar hunts. Okay, never mind. So there's no new content. I just need to go around, pick up all this loot. Pick up all the loot in Kingston, do all the side missions. We're almost done, actually. We're actually almost done. There's not that many things I haven't done yet. Alright, I'll stop recording here. I think the next video will be architecture. Alright, I'll see you guys there.